Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Read Code and this is Teer Doshi and today we are going to solve regular expression matching and there are going to be two approaches to this. One is the recursive one and one is going to be the uh, I, uh, one is going to be the dynamic programming one. We'll be uploading a recursive one today and uh, the dynamic will come maybe tomorrow or so. Uh, <clears throat> so first let's understand the logic the question of the what exactly the question is so you are given two strings the input is s and the input is the source string and the pattern string now regular expression matching is a problem where given a pattern string you need to determine if this pattern string can be converted into a source given some kind of conditions so if it can be converted to the source i return a true if it cannot be converted, I return a false. Now, given some kind of conditions I said, right? So what conditions did I exactly mean? The condition means that, so if I just have S as A and a pattern as just a dot, the dot will mean I can, dot can have any character, A, it can be A, B, C. So dot will match with every character. So I would return a true, return a true. This is not the comment section. So yeah, I would return a true. That's the dot thing. And also going with simpler examples, if my uh, source is AA and my pattern is a star now star means that the preceding symbol which was a in this particular case can be repeated any number of times so i can have a i can have a a i can have a a a a a a, a, a. how many a number of times i can have it so that means i have it once over here and i would say that the pattern is matched however if this was b star it would have meant that although I would never come here to check because the first character itself is mismatched. So I would never come here, but if I come here to check and there is a B star, it, this star exactly denotes that I can have B, I can have B, 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 whatever. Any number of times I can have a B. So I would have returned a false here. So that is what a star and a dot denotes now we understood what a star denotes what a dot denotes and how i match a regular expression pattern so if my source is a star sorry so source is ab and my pattern is a star i cannot match it but uh, if it was an a dot it means that i can match I can match the two source and the pattern, right? So I will return it to you. Okay. So we have understood what exactly it is. Now let's understand how do we go about it. Now approaching this problem in a very naive way. Let's think about the normal two pointer approach. Okay. If you have a source like ABC, your pattern can be uh, a dot and a star. Let's just say. Now, if, since one pointer I keep it here, one pointer I keep it here. Let's go about a very simpler solution. One pointer I keep it here, one pointer I keep it here. I see A and A are matched. So my now sub problem reduces to matching B, C with this particular pattern dot and star so b and a dot matches so my sub problem reduces to c and the pattern is dot and a star now why did i write dot and star here ideally you should have you would have said that oh because these two match I move both the pointers ahead. It should be C and star. It should be C and star. But 
my point is whether i write this star actually denotes a lot of dots right any number of dots because that's the preceding element over here so i can just write it as dot and star so they match once they match i move ahead and i see that the source is empty and this is still dot star so i will return a true okay so observe that the source and the pattern strings are changing when you have different kind of conditions so we have to have a few conditions and with respect to that conditions we have to modify and call our recursive functions so yeah let's first talk about the base case first okay the base case is that if you are given a empty source and if you are given a empty pattern then it means that i am always going to match i it is always going to be true okay but if you are given an empty pattern with a non empty source anything then it means that it is always going to be false so that's what the base case is handled over here so if the pattern is empty i would return if the source the size of the source is zero i would return a true and if the size is not zero i would return a false so that's about handling the base case so i have handled the base case now moving forward now what i want to do is i want to have different conditions right so there is this particular example over here um it's s s a a s s a a b and pattern is c asterisk a asterisk and a b so even this expression is true because this asterisk can be zero or many number of c's so i would say that these are zero numbers of c's then the sub problem reduces to s a a b pattern is a star b i won't go again about explaining why this will come to be true because this is a again this is b is matched so this will come out to be true yeah so it means that what i did was actually pattern was starting from zero i took a substring in the next iteration that started at 2 and this returned a true right so there is this thing that if the asterisk is at the second character or the first index i would say then there is a special case that i would need to handle i would have to call the is match function such that i pass the source as it is but i pass the pattern from i pass the substring of the pattern from 2 starting at position 2 uh, right this is because this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 starting at position 2 would be a star b so i pass that particular function and then i return that answer so that is one way now another case is what happens if you have a a b you have a pattern you have a asterisk over here and then maybe a b this is what exactly this is but yeah if you have this you check a and a you move ahead but in this case i will have a a b pattern is a asterisk b so this is a b now this is a asterisk b i would send it as it is i would not change it now right now this is how i would go about it 
so that's what i've really done so what happens is initially the size is uh, so the first case is that i have taken the case where the first the second character is an asterisk and what i do first is that i pass it such that the source is as it is but the pattern is a substring that is starting from 2 just the example that i gave you before and if this returns a true i return a true otherwise there is an asterisk the first character is matched or the first character of the pattern is just a dot so it is anyway is going to be matched then i would start the source from here so exactly this particular case a a b a star b the first character is a star in the pattern the first character of the source and the pattern are matched i pass the pattern as it is but i pass this particular source rather than that source right so exactly so that's what i'm doing over here else if the pattern if the first source and the first character of the pattern don't match then i just return a false okay another case is when you have a source you have a pattern but the pattern doesn't contain the first character first character no the second character but the first index as a star so it contains maybe a a b c the pattern would be all the source would be a b e so what happens is initially i call i c a and a b since they are equal i move on b and e pattern would be b and c both of it would go ahead next call what happens e would be called here pattern would be a c this would return a false and finally because they are not matched it would return a false so that's what this particular part of the code does so first if the pattern is matching i will call the substring starting from the first character and the pattern also from the first character so a b c a b c a b e since a and a match i call the b c and b e b and b match i call the e and the c since they do not match i return the false okay that's what i've done it's a recursive solution uh, if if let's just walk through one example out here with the code so that would be do this strengthen our understanding on it s is a a b pattern is c star a asterisk b so what happens is the first thing that i do is i check the length the trivial case but the length of the pattern is not zero so i just don't go into that if condition next i see that the first character is an asterisk so i go in this particular if condition where the first index is an asterisk because the first index is an asterisk i will call one is match function such that i remove this okay so i pass the source as it is and i remove this so p dot substring okay uh you know so string starting from 2 so yeah starting from 2 i will call this so my call stack would ideally have this over here i would rather write a star p or and the source would be what the source would be a a b as it is now it still contains this star and the characters are matched so even the source will move ahead the call will further go to is match a b and because this is a this are matched a star b will remain as it is 
again is match function would be called for b and a star b would be here since the first character is a star i can remove this and an is match function would be called for a b and a b and this would ideally return a true right so this would return a true out here because this will return a true so that's how it will actually work i have just written some calls in the call stack i have not really written all the calls uh, but it would get but you can write it uh, at your own pace uh, because the videos are getting longer i'm not writing the entire call stack so that's it for today and i hope i have explained it well i know it's recursion is generally difficult to explain over here uh, so that's it for today guys have a great one